A news conference Wednesday, President Obama warned Iran about its nuclear program, saying, quote, the window for solving this issue dim diplomatically is shrinking. Mayor Dagan, former head of Israel's Mossad agency, says that would be the craziest idea he has ever heard. In a 60 Minutes interview on Sunday, Leslie Stahl asked Dagan about Iran. The regime in Iran is a very rational regime. Do you think Ahmadinejad is, a, is rational? The answer is yes. Not exactly our rational, but I think that he is rational. So do you think they're rational enough that they are capable of backing down from this? No doubt that the, the Iranian regime is maybe not exactly rational based on what I call Western thinking. But no doubt that they are considering all the implications of their action. Other people think they're not going to really stop till they have this capability. And they will have to pay dearly and all the consequences for it. And I think the Iranians, in this point in time, are going very careful in the project. They are not running in it. Now, if they're that rational, as you suggest, and that logical, then why can't you, Israel, and the world live with a nuclear Iran? In the Israeli case, they said that they want to destroy Israel. Here to address that is Michael Oren, Israel's ambassador to the United States. Welcome. Good morning, Charlie. What is it that you disagree with what Mayor Dagan said in this interview? Because he's been saying these exact things in Israel. He's been saying them for a long time. Exactly. And I, of course, have the highest regard for Mayor Dagan. He's a person who's given his life to Israel's security. But there are many other people who have given their lives to Israeli security who think differently than he does. But he was head of Mossad, and he was in the inner councils of making important decisions for Israeli security. And there are people in other branches of the Israeli intelligence who have a different opinion. Listen, at the end of the day, the person who has to make the decisions are the democratically elected leaders of Israel, as in the United States. You know, when, when President Obama had made make that tough call about bin Laden, there were some very high-ranking intelligence officials that said, don't do it, it's Indeed. too dangerous. There was a division. And there. he had to make that decision. Similarly, Israel's democratically elected leaders have to make that tough call. Okay, there's also Jeffrey Goldberg, who has suggested in an article, not just the article that included the interview with uh, President Obama, suggesting that there is a kind of good cop, bad cop thing going on here between the president and the prime minister and that the prime minister is, in fact, in part bullying because he wants to make sure that the West and other countries go forward with a more aggressive way in using sanctions to squeeze Iran and the rationality that Mayor Dagan spoke about. Well, I think it was a very important article. Uh, the president said some things that he hadn't said before. Uh, he said that, uh, you know, that Iran was not just an Israeli issue, wasn't even a Middle Eastern issue. It was an American vital security right. issue, extremely important. He recognized that Israel uh, has the right uh, to defend itself by itself against any Middle Eastern threat, including Iran, and, and, and that Israel is a sovereign country. Only Israel can make the decision to defend and itself. And containment was not an option. Containment was not an option. And the other option to say, was there for the United States. He said all mm -hmm. that. Said all that, yeah. and he has said that one of the America's option was a military option. He did make that extremely those points. important. So you right. considered that an important meeting. You have also said to me in the past mm -hmm. that the is security cooperation between this government, President Obama, and the Israeli government, Prime Minister Netanyahu, has never been better. At an all-time high, all-time high, it's definitely superb, but it's in many different areas. We're, we're fighting terror together. We're developing an anti-missile defense mm -hmm. system, which in the last few days, you know, terrorists, Iranian-backed okay. terrorists out of Gaza fired almost 200 rockets at us. Here, many of them taken down by a, an anti-rocket system developed with the United States and Israel. Here's a central question, and you know it well. Mm -hmm. It is, suppose Israel decides that sanctions are not good enough and that the approaching day that Iran will have the capability has come. Israel, sovereign country, has not just the right but the duty and the ability uh, to defend itself. Is that day near? How long do you give sanctions to work? You know, America, big country, has a big window. Uh, it looks out that window, it sees the Middle East far away. Israel, a small country with a very small window. We look out that window and we see Iran in our backyard. Um, Prime Minister Netanyahu said the other day that uh, we're not talking about uh, years, but we're not talking about days and weeks either. All right. Thank you, Ambassador Aaron. Good to see you. As again. always, Charlie.